Lamborghini has been an innovator in the automotive industry since they were founded in the early 60s, and their vehicles have come to represent the height of luxury, speed, technology, and status to people that are patrons and fans of the automobile manufacturer. They have certainly achieved founder Ferruccio's Lamborghini's goal of creating sports cars capable of high speeds and long distance driving that are also as luxurious and recognizable brand wise as cars from well established brands such as Ferrari. Lamborghini was originally noted for using a rear mid engine and rear wheel drive. As technology for automobiles has advanced throughout the years, Lamborghini has certainly kept up, while still staying true to their unique designs and branding to appease their die-hard consumer base, they still remain competitive to other luxury car manufacturers. Lamborghini's most recent concept car is called the Turzo Millennio, which translates to third millennium to represent how futuristic they envision the final product will be. The Terzo Millennio is going to utilize groundbreaking technology for the first time in the history of Lamborghini as a company, but also in the history of the automotive industry as a whole. This car will feature brand new technologies and techniques in electric power, automation in cars, car design, and car architecture. If you want to know all about the future of Lamborghini's cars, you have clicked on the right video. Keep watching to find out the inside scoop on the latest details of Lamborghini's most technologically advanced car that they have designed to date. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks! The design of the Terzo Millennia was created by Lamborghini's chief designer, Mietje Borkert, and the company's central style department, and is considered part of the Gandini line, which is reserved for Lamborghini's most technologically advanced cars. The Terzo Millennio is so technologically advanced, it has been called the representation of the super sports car of the future. The technology used in the vehicle was developed by Lamborghini's team of professional engineers alongside a group of MIT professors and students. The Terzo Millennio was revealed to the public for the first time at the MTech conference in Cambridge, Massachusetts after it had been talked about and teased by Lamborghini executives for a few years. Lamborghini's chief technical officer, Maurizio Reggiani, sees the car as more of a thinking box than a car that will actually be produced. The car at the moment is considered a concept car, meaning that it's mostly used to show off new technologies and inspire thought rather than being mass produced and used by the average driver. Throughout the history of the company, Lamborghini has dreamed up and presented quite a number of concept cars, starting right at the beginning in 1963 with the very first Lamborghini prototype called the 350 GTV. Other famous concept car models include Bertone's 1967 Marzel, a 1960 1974 Bravo, a 1980 Athen, Chrysler's 1987 Portofino, the Ital Design Style Cala from 1995, and the Zagato Built Raptor from 1996. The Terzo Millennio's design is based on four pillars energy, materials innovation, vehicle architecture, and also sound and emotion. The Terzo Millennio is made to be lighter than most cars by eliminating bulky parts and streamlining them as much as possible. For example, they have eliminated the need for a rechargeable battery with their electric power system. The Terzo Millennio uses high capacity supercapacitors that are incorporated into carbon fiber panels that make up the vehicle's body rather than batteries so that the entire vehicle is used to store energy rather than one bulky piece. These supercapacitor devices are able to store 10 to 100 times more energy than the typical battery, can be charged and deliver energy much faster than batteries, and can tolerate a lot more change and discharge cycles than typical rechargeable batteries. The main draw for Lamborghini to use these supercapacitors is due to their more rapid storage and discharge of energy. The supercapacitors are able to hold and release more energy than batteries and they do not have to depend on chemical reactions to do so. Each wheel has rims that glow orange, contains its own electric motor, which allows the amount of torque to be controlled individually. This essentially makes the car's stability equivalent to that of a modern Formula One car. 
Because of the motor in every wheel, the car is required to have an all-wheel drive layout to work. In using these supercapacitors, Lamborghini is emphasizing the car's energy efficiency, energy regeneration, energy density, and ability to recover kinetic energy in order to generate power. Chief Technical Officer Reggiani has also stated that the Terzo Millennio using an electric motor does not mean that the company will be focusing on designing and producing vehicles powered by electricity. Lamborghini knows their customers love the thrill of driving a car at high speeds and hearing the engine roar. So while the Terzo Millennio does not provide the knowledge of having a high horsepower car with powerful cylinders, Lamborghini has implemented a sound system that allows the cars to have the same roar of a gas gas engine, despite the car being electric. Lamborghini fans also do not have to worry about compromising on the traditional look of a Lamborghini either. The Terzo Millennio certainly has a sleek and modern look, but it undoubtedly has a recognizable silhouette and styling of a Lamborghini. It is no doubt that the Terzo Millennio will be pleasing to anyone who purchases it. Of course, the pictures of the Terzo Millennio at shows and conventions are spectacular, but the rendered images that Lamborghini has released of the car speeding down an empty highway at dusk, with the orange wheels illuminating the sleek black sides of the sports car, make the Terzo Millennio look like something out of a movie, like the supersonic car that a superhero would drive. Lamborghini also knows that most people who drive sports cars are not interested in the self-driving feature that many high-end luxury cars are beginning to implement because of the fun of having a sports car is driving it yourself and reaching those high speeds. The Terzo Millennio does have a bit of driving automation, but it is intended to be used as a resource to help the car's owner become a better driver. The Terzo Millennio's driving automation system could be used to give the driver pointers on driving a specific track so that the drivers can improve upon their driving abilities without an actual coach being in the car with them. Lamborghini is treating automated driving as a tool to make driving more accessible rather than to replace the need for driving. However, Lamborghini has come up with their own unique automated feature that blows self-driving cars out of the water. The Terzo Millennio is the world's first self-healing car. The self-repairing feature mostly applies to harm to the body of the car because of course this sports car can't grow arms, grab tools, and change its own tires or oil, but the system is still really innovative and impressive. Basically, how the self-healing system works is that the same technology which allows the entire vehicle's body to store and deliver energy can also be used to monitor the wellness of the car's carbon fiber structure, which stores the energy. So let's say if there's a collision and small cracks develop on the body of the car, the charged energy may move through the carbon fiber system differently. This way, the car will be able to recognize this harm and react accordingly, including being able to begin a self-repairing process in order to prevent the cracks or other damage from growing. Soon the days when you have to sit in the mechanic shop or car dealership for hours hours while your car is being repaired may be long gone because the Terzo Millennio will be able to minimize damage to make repairs much quicker and easier. When the Terzo Millennio debuted in 2017, it was really just a design. There was a physical model displayed at the shows, but it was just for that show. The model Terzo Millennio was incapable of moving on its own and many of the technologies that Lamborghini and MIT promised were still in development. As of late 2019, some progress has has been made, specifically on the supercapacitors that all of the future sports car's best features depend on. Lamborghini and MIT have created a material that doubles the energy storage capacity of the average supercapacitor. The team is still working towards some additional improvement to the product, but they have decided that the research to date was significant enough to submit an application for a patent in the names of the Lamborghini and MIT engineers that were involved in the work. Specifically, the patent will be for the unique chemical and geometric properties of the powder material that goes inside of the supercapacitors. This patent will be a significant milestone in the research phase of the Terzo Millennio, but the development phase of the car has yet to start. Lamborghini and MIT will need to figure out exactly how to incorporate the supercapacitors into carbon fiber material, how to use that carbon fiber to build the body of the car, 
and how to design the car so that the supercapacitors are still able to store and supply energy while being built into the car, rather than just attached on top of a pre-existing frame for the vehicle. Lamborghini and MIT have a long way to go on bringing the Turzo Millennio to fruition in a short amount of time as they only agreed to a three-year contract backed in 2017. However, they may be extending the contract as in late 2019, Lamborghini CEO Stefano Domenicali stated that the electric technology required Required for the Terzo Millennial may not be ready for use until 2026. But that may be an overshot estimate to impress us if it comes out sooner. Now you are probably wondering how much the Terzo Millennial will cost so that you can add it to your dream car collection. Well, the groundbreaking electric car that can heal itself is rumored to be priced at $2.5 million. But don't worry, it seems like you may have quite a bit of time to save up some money before the car is even available to purchase. So what do you think of this innovative new car design from Lamborghini? People that are patrons and fans of Lamborghini certainly seem excited for the Turzo Millennio. Do you think that Lamborghini and MIT will be able to perfect the complex technologies that they have come up with? Will the Turzo Millennio remain a concept forever? Would you buy it if you had the opportunity? Let us know in the comments below.